So to do Newton's Cradle, you want to start off in straddle grip. Then you're going to have your right hand use your thumb and ring finger to contact the bottom left and upper right corner of the deck. Then what you want to do is use your thumb to peel off a small packet of about 8 to 10 cards. And what you want to do with this packet is you want to spin this packet using your middle finger here as a pivot point, like so. And you want to spin it until you can clip it between your left ring and your left middle in front here. Okay. So while doing the spin, at the same time you want to let go of cards from your left thumb, allowing them to fall into your palm, like so. Once you're here, you want to use your right thumb to come over and contact the long edge of this packet here. Then you want to split a small packet and extend outwards like so. Then you want to use your left middle finger to retain a single card as you slide your right hand to the right, pulling this packet outwards and retaining a single card here. Okay. And this packet should be able to rest completely on this single card alone. So once you're here, you're going to use your left index to spin this packet until you're in this position. And you want to make sure your middle finger is now on the short edge over here because you're going to extend your index finger, your, your right index here, outwards like so and let go of your thumb, clipping this packet between your index finger and your middle finger in the back. So once you're in this position, you're going to shift your hand to the right and then use this space to come over and hit this single card over here. And you want to do it with enough force so that this packet will fall on, on top of this packet. So that'll look something like this, right? So to make this look good, you want to make sure that you're clipping onto this card as much as possible so that it doesn't move and only this packet is moving to the left, right? So once you've got this down, you then want to let go of cards from your left thumb as this packet falls on top of this one here, okay? So that should look something like this. Right, so once you're here, you then want to toss this packet in the right hand upwards so that it rolls over your index finger, like so. And then you want to press downwards with your thumb and clip it between the thumb and your index finger, like so. Alright, so... That should look like that. Okay, so once you're here, you then want to start closing your uh, this structure here on your left hand by using your left index to push upwards on this bottom packet here, as if you're doing a charlier. Until you're here, then you want to push this packet here upwards by simply bring it, using your left index to push it up and at the same time bring this card inwards by clipping it between your ring, middle and with the help of the pinky. So like so. And once you reach this position here, you want to then place this packet in the right hand on top by flipping it over and just placing it right there. Then you close the move by pushing inwards with your left thumb allowing the packet to fall on top and finally you square up and that completes the move. So here's a brief overview from the front. So you split this packet, spin it until you can clip it between your middle and ring, move this packet inwards, peel off a packet on top, and then over here you want to use your right hand and pull this whole packet to the right and retaining a single card with your left middle, like so. Okay, once you're here, spin this packet, clip it, and once you're here, toss this packet upwards, catching it with your thumb. Use your left index here to push this packet upwards as if you're doing a charlier. Then use the index again to push this packet inwards while bringing in this single card here. At the same time, your right hand you want to move over and basically have these two, this card and this packet, fall almost at the same time, like so. Then you close with your left thumb, square up, and that completes the move.